be able to use any of the smart content, uh, the BBC iPlayers and YouTube, for example, on your smart TV, you do need to be connected to your broadband router and to the internet. Now, if you've tried to use your apps and you're not connected, of course, you'll get an error on the screen. But you'll also get the same error if you haven't connected the TV previously or you've changed your router or your password has changed. So all you need to do here is press OK on the network connection icon here. You get two options. If you know what you're doing, you can set your own addresses in the custom setup, but we're just going to choose quick setup here. So just press the OK button. The TV will have a look at any previous settings now and just see if it can find the network. Um, unless it dials through here and straight away you get connected in the listing here, then you can assume that you've connected to your router OK and uh, you're good to go, as you can see here. If you display anything else, like not connected, or indeed uh, you think the password is incorrect and the data's just not getting through, if you move over to No here, we can change the settings and restart the connection. So the first thing it's going to do is search for any of the wireless access points nearby or in your home. And you need to pick out of the list here your router from your broadband provider. That may be, of course, Sky or BT Home Hub, for example. Um, we've actually got a couple on here. Um, and uh, one thing worth noting is that we have a much better success rate if you use the wireless type 2.4 and uh, some people have 5 gigahertz routers. Uh, if you have the choice of two, we recommend using the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So find your router in the list and press the OK button on the remote control. It's now going to ask you for your encryption key. Now this is vital you get this right, both uh, uppercase, lowercase, uh, numerics, of course they're all case sensitive. Uh, and they have to be as accurate as, well, they have to be, bang on uh, the password that they've given you. You'll find that password usually on the back of your router on a little sticker. Uh, so we just key in ours here. Okay, so once you put your password in, the next bit is really crucial. Uh, bizarrely, uh, the OK button to confirm your password is not the OK button on the remote control. As it shows in the diagram here, it is actually the return key. So once you've got your password in, as it should be, press the return key, the TV will now attempt to connect to the wireless network. Of course, as long as that password was successful, it will connect and uh, it should take us to the test screen. And uh, here we go. So this is the network status screen. This will show you if the TV has a successful connection to your router and then if the router has a successful connection to the internet. You do need ticks in both of these boxes in order for your apps to work successfully. As you can see here, we're up and running. So you can now press OK on the exit button. You can press your apps button or go to your on-demand service and you'll be able to jump in and enjoy some of your smart content.